So five games remaining for Real Madrid this season. Will it be the last five games for Kosovare Aslani, whose contract is up at the end of what's been a difficult campaign for her personally? She missed September to December with a ligament injury. It is questionable whether or not the 32-year-old will sign on again for Real Madrid next season or move on elsewhere, such a, a decorated player. Formerly of Ling Chopping in Sweden, Manchester City in the WSL, PSG in France, spell with Chicago Red Stars as well in the United States. Two-time Olympic silver medalist. It is Deportivo Alaves then to get us underway. Comfortably in mid-table, some 11 points clear of the bottom two. So not mathematically safe, but realistically. There will be no problems in terms of a possible return to the Segunda Division for Alaves. Aaron getting stuck in straight away. Real Madrid back in possession, though. Lucia Rodriguez. Derecha, by Rocio Galvez for Real Madrid. I expect to have plenty of the ball in this one. Took an early lead against Sporting Huelva last time out on the 3rd of April. Zanotha with a penalty, but the sending off of Sofia Zvava not helping their cause. The 10 men eventually losing 3 1 to a Huelva side who are four places below Alaves in the table. This is only the second meeting ever between these two clubs in the top flight. It was a 1 1 draw in the capital back in uh, November. Now went in front through Alba, but Alaves equalizing. So both of the top here. Now Esther Gonzalez, forced away by Ojale. Galvez. Andres to Del Castillo. By Alba. Well covered by Vanner Andres for Real. Del Castillo. It's a really strong challenge, though, by Garafi. Didn't do an awful lot with the ball, though. Handed it straight back to Abayera. Space here for Carmona to deliver. Takes the ball in. Stopped away, though, by Maharin for Alaves. Roberto Turil, who took over in November from uh, David Aznar, who had been in the post since the Tasson days. Now's poor start to the season, bringing an end to Aznar's tenure. We couldn't control it. Real Madrid have it back here. Put out by Aslani to Del Castillo. Turn here for Aslani, got the shot away, but it's deflected behind for a corner. Be eager to uh, finish the season well, Kosovare Aslani. Just two goals in this campaign. Last of them in a 3-1 win away to Real Sociedad in February. Another goal came in the first Clásico of the season. Real's 3-1 loss to Barcelona. 
¡La marcha, la marcha! Taken out to Rodriguez. Clips it in and well claimed by Yana. Just 18 years of age, uh, a summer signing from Atletico Madrid. It was uh, a regular in their beating. He was born in China and adopted by a German father and a Spanish mother. Spanish under 19 international. And by Hannah again to Ohale. Zanotha. Ojale, chased down by Esther Gonzalez. To the goalkeeper by Maharin. And by Ojale. It's not just the top three that Real Madrid are chasing this season domestically, still involved in the Copa de la Reina. Face Levante in the quarterfinals of that, Tenerife, Barcelona and Huelva. Now the other three teams already through to the semi-finals of the domestic cup. Lucia Rodriguez. By Abayera. Delivery in. Too high, though, for Esther Gonzalez, who was in the center. Did win their last game here, that 3-1 victory against bottom of the table, Rayo Valcano, who've had an awful season. Ended a run of three without a win at home, two draws and a defeat in that run. Won their opening two games here this season, but just four of 11 since. Ms. Oroth. Cross in early, Maharin with the header away for Alaves. Only as far as Carmona. Blocked behind by Aunion. Ivana <laughs> Andres has made her way forward. Rocio Galvez in there as well for Real Madrid, the two central defenders. Deep delivery this time, and the header back across is well saved in the end by Hannah. First real opening of the game for Real Madrid. Alaves didn't deal with the initial corner particularly well. And good positioning from uh, Hannah Jin. Oh, a corner by Real Madrid. And in the end, Esther Gonzalez unable to finish off the header after Rocio Galvez headed it back across the six-yard box. Real Madrid throw. Bright start from Real. Is Aslani. Abayera, good ball out to Lucia Rodriguez, the right back. Now Dal Castillo skips away from one challenge. And Miriam just did enough to put her off.
Aslani. Riddled away from a couple of challenges, but not the third. And Teresa Abayera frustrated with a lack of control. Abayera, 22, couple of caps for Spain. Been a, a regular this season. She's a, a former futsal player. Of course, a game that is so good for players' development in terms of working in tight spaces and control of the ball, movement. Very popular game in Spain. And growing around the world. Spain and Brazil, historically the, the world leaders, although Portugal have really come to the futsal four of late. Zabiera. Goes forward here, Aslani is in the centre, it's touched out to Carmona, he played it back in again to Zanotha. Aslani winning the header. Is Lucia Rodriguez and goes for goal straight at Hanover. But Real Madrid continue their bright opening 10 minutes. They are the one side here with something to play for this season. Plenty still left in the season for them domestically. Despite the disappointment of that 8 3 aggregate defeat to Barcelona in the Champions League quarter finals. That's Miriam. Alba. Ojale. Alba. Alba. Garafi. Can't keep possession at the moment, Alaves. Joe Crespo will already be looking towards their second season in the top flight in the next campaign. Be keen to arrest the, the sliding form that's happened in the second half of the season. And they've won just two of their last 15 games, having uh, won their opening three games this season, beating Raul Betis, Vallecano, and Villarreal. Is Athenea del Castillo. Good touch back. An important foot in from Miriam. That sitting midfielder in there for Alaves, who does her utmost to protect the back four. Come on it. Lost possession, got frustrated. And then fouled Aunion. Carmona, one of the many Spanish internationals in this Real Madrid side, joined the club from Sevilla in 2020. Just getting a breath back a bit, landed a bit heavily after the challenge from Carmona. Christina Aunion, a, a summer signing from Rio Vallecano, the side who are heading down to the Segunda Division. Former captain of Vallecano, where she spent eight years and played over 200 matches for them. 33 now, Aunion. One of the, the few clever signings that Alaves made just to strengthen themselves and make sure that they could consolidate in the top flight. Abayera. Ivana Andres out to Lucia Rodriguez. That was a neat play by Ray Albert, well read by. Nigerian international, Ohale. 
Well, those clever signings I was talking about. Osinachi Ohale. Played at three Women's World Cups, a four-time Africa Cup of Nations winner. into the centre by Maharin, cleared by Rocio Galvez. Tanatha couldn't control it. And Carmona played herself into trouble, straight to Chamorro. Eventually Real Madrid get it, defender, get it together defensively and Olga Carmona clears it away. Fifteen minutes gone, nil-nil. Real Madrid have been dominant though. One big chance falling the way of Esther Gonzalez that was uh, well saved by the positioning of Hannah. Abiera almost beaten to that by Chamorro. Savannah Andres. Veteran of two World Cups for Spain, Savannah Andres. Still only 27. Rodriguez. Andres. Ending off the challenge of the Paraguayan tomorrow. And Aslani wins the free kick from Maharin. Forty goals and 157 appearances for Sweden. Kosovare Aslani, Swedish Player of the Year in 2017. Just the one season in the English WSL with Manchester City, where she did win the title. It's a free kick for Alaves. Mesa at the moment with very little to do in the Real Madrid goal. <laughs> Maharin to take it. Overhead in terms of Ohale getting that. Miriam got a foot to it though and wins the corner. Well, they will have a threat in the air. Ohale and Maharin will be a threat in there. Miriam as well, plenty of height. The central midfielder. Taken short. It's Maharin who delivers straight into the hands though of Misa. Goalkeeper with a, a bright future ahead. Four caps already for Spain at the age of 22. It's on the books at Atletico Madrid, but made just one appearance there. She won the Zamora Trophy last season, which is awarded to the goalkeeper with the lowest goals to game ratio. She did 0.93 goals a game, just for the record. Yeah. By Ohale. Yeah. On by Alba to Garafi. Now Mirren stands the cross up, but drifted behind. Better play though from Alaves, a bit more adventurous. Finally getting on the ball a bit more. 
Mirren is one of those that they'd like to see on the ball a bit more, that's for sure. One of the creative players for Alaves. Sio Galvez. Carmona. Pressure from Carla, but Olga Carmona dealing with it comfortably. Gets it back again. Foot in, though, from Carla. Rodriguez. Nico, en el saque de banda trata de juntar. Sola, sola, sola. Back to Hannah. And now here's O'Hale. Confidence slowly growing in this Alaves team. Very much on the back foot for the opening 10 or 15 minutes. As we see Rodriguez. Maher in back to Hannah. Aslani perhaps frustrated. She didn't follow her in. It wasn't the, the best piece of handling from the Alaves goalkeeper initially. Well, just a reminder to join the Atta Football community and access more women's football content, matches and highlights. Don't forget to visit attafootball.com. It's Rocio Galvez. Now finding it difficult to create too many chances in open play here against uh, Alaves defence. It's looking well organised. Here's a chance now, though, maybe for Esther Gonzalez. Well, it's the second big chance that have fallen the way of Esther Gonzalez. First one was well saved by Hannah. The, the second pulled well wide by the Real Madrid number 10. Didn't have too much support in truth, Esther Gonzalez. 13 goals this season, Esther. Joined Real Madrid from Levante. She spent a, a couple of years in between a move from uh, Atletico Madrid. So interesting to watch the growth of Real Madrid, though, as a as a force in the uh, the women's game. A lot of catching up to do in terms of Barcelona, that's for sure. But you just get the impression they're going to get that. It might take a while yet, though. Barcelona looking so dominant, both in Spain and in Europe. Ooh, goalkeeper Misa gambled and got that. And won the free kick. Can often be a problem when a goalkeeper has as little to do as Mises had to do in this opening 20 odd minutes. So Galvez seemed to have it under control, but Mises just wanted to make sure. Aslani. Just looking for the run of uh, Athenea del Castillo, but well covered by Garafi. Mm -hmm. 
You see Rodriguez with the throw. And again, well defended by Alaves, away by Miki Waito. Despite having most of the ball, really setting the tempo of the game, it's developing into a frustrating game for Real Madrid. It's 25 minutes gone, no breakthrough. Just a, a couple of chances, one a half chance really for Esther Gonzalez. On by Zanotha. Union's had a, a really good battle. The Alaves right back with Carmona when she gets forward. The Real Madrid left back. And there's a cross in, but gathered by Misa. Too close to the goalkeeper from Carla. Touch off by Esther. There's Lani. There's an offer. Abayera. Maharin. Back to Hannah. Good pressing from Real Madrid, but they're pretty cool in control of the ball. Alaves away by Hannah under pressure from Aslani. Good turn by Aunyon. Now Alba. Good play from the home side. Here's Garafi. Mirror and outsider. Garafi goes alone. It's a really good run by Garafi. Just took on a tad too much. Frustrated with herself in the end. She ran down something of a blind alley, having made a bit of space for herself. 22 Garafi has been a, a regular this season since joining from. Osasuna, where she spent three years previously. Right, so with the, the cross in. Switched out by Zanotha. Maharin back to Hannah. Hola. And now Miriam. Hey. Mikel Crespo is pretty happy with his side at the moment. Hey. It's difficult to, to lift a side, of course, as they're on the run in mid table. Little to play for. They're playing Real Madrid alone will probably help lift Alaves today. Here's Esther. Clipped in behind again for Esther Gonzalez, but Alaves clear. Not far enough, though. Caballera. Over the top. That's what they're forcing Real Madrid to do at the moment, Alaves, with their defensive organisation. Disappointed not to have hit the target from there, though. Hasn't scored this season, Teresa Abayera. Scored three in the last campaign for Real. Here's Garafi. Space to run into. She likes to carry the ball. We've seen that already, Garafi. Vieira across. Mirren. Back to Maharin. Harley. for Athena del Castillo. 
whips that ball across. It was a lovely delivery. Ohale did well, though. And Zabiera. Shifted on again by Oroth, and it's fired into the hands of Hannah. Always against Olga Carmona. <laughs> Problem here for Chamorro, the Alaves centre forwards. Really tough first half. Uh, seen very little of the ball. A bit of a clattering there with Olga Carmona. Santander player Chamorro played in the Copa America in 2018 for Paraguay. Oroz. Abayera to Zanotha. Come on up. Strong challenge though. Winning possession back for Alaves. Is Miku Aito. Run into Esther though. Del Castillo to Lucia Rodriguez. Shifted out by Abayera. By Oroz to Aslani. Oh, come on up. Oroz. Abayera. Again, they're keeping the ball well around Madrid. Alaves forcing them back, though. Making it difficult to. Pick out the pinpoint ball they need. Athenea Del Castillo. And well covered by Aunion. Real Madrid throw. Abayera to Zanotha. Rodriguez. Ivana Andres looking for runners. There's nobody really showing ahead of her though. She carries the ball forward herself. In the end is forced back to Zanotha. Here's Rocio Galvez. Olga. Only on the way again. Coming up against the brick wall at the moment, Real Madrid. Ojale with the header away. It's fallen kindly here, though, for the shot from Zanotha. There may well have been a deflection on that. A couple of goals from midfield this season, Zanotha. Was, uh, she who scored in the 3 1 loss to Huelva last time out. Another goal was back in January in a 3-1 win against Sevilla. And Pinto Teril looking concerned. The coach of the Real Madrid's youth team and the B team as well. Main man at Elche. Zabiera. It's Orov. Abiera. Everything goes through her in that centre of the midfield. Teresa Abiera. There's Lucia Rodriguez. It's a good run from the right back. Still going. No power in the shot, though. 
a comfortable save in the end for Hannah Chin. Allowed to run an awful long way, though, Lucia Rodriguez. Certainly would have been an inquest had that found the back of the net in the Alaves dressing room at half time. It's Alba. Maharin finding Alba in space. Garathi. So Galvez with the header away. Miku Ito was sneaking in behind just in case the Madrid centre back missed it. Here's Zonotha. Header away again by Christina Aunion. It's had a really good game, the Alaves right back, as most of the back four have in fairness. Garathi, Maharin, Ojale all playing their part and keeping Real Madrid at bay at the moment. Ten minutes to half time, still nil nil. Point really that doesn't do a great deal for Real Madrid's hopes of finishing in the top three. Granadilla, Tenerife, and Atletico Madrid, the other sides fighting tooth and nail for that third spot. Mirren. Real Sociedad just about six points better off. The others running out of games. They're looking good for a Champions League place. Took a couple of hammerings at the hands of Barcelona, but other than that, they've been pretty consistent, Real Sociedad. Great season for them to claim second. Athletic Bilbao, one of the other clubs who were uh, in the race, have fallen away in recent weeks. It's one from three to join Barcelona and Real Sociedad in uh, European women's football's top competition next season. Carla. Here's Aslani. And a cliff out. the first yellow card of the game as well. It just seems as though she's been really struggling to return to full fitness. After nearly four months out at the start of the season, it's understandable. Yera plays it in, it's a free header. And it's into the side netting from Rocio Galvez. Well, that's a, as big a chance as Esther Gonzalez is early on. Lovely delivery, and you have to hit the target from there. Hannah may well have been equal to it, but it was a poor header in the end from Rocio Galvez, the centre back. Is Rocio Galvez. A couple of goals this season against Ibar in October and Tenerife last month. It's come on up. Hale with the header away. On by Miriam to Ohale. Now Aunion. Six wins, five draws, two defeats from their home matches this season. Alaves, it has been the home form that has uh, pretty much kept them clear of trouble. Hannah. Marine, Hannah away. I mean, Garathi was immediately under pressure from Lucia Rodriguez. A little bit too overzealous, though. The Real right back. Yeah. 
Well, the first target as Real Madrid was to qualify for the Champions League, which they did last season. The second target to win the club's first major trophy. Del Arena is still on the table, but of course, the trouble is Barcelona are always the side you have to get past, and nobody's been able to this season. European and Spanish champions have won every game in every competition. Mister chasing that one, a Harley across. Held up by Miku Ito. And cleared by Aunion. Abiera. It's an offer. Now Orov. Abiera. Space now for Lucia Rodriguez. There's Lani turning, but Maharin is equal to it. First half again for Kosovare Aslani. It's interesting seeing the freedom that Claudia Zanotha has given in the uh, Real Madrid midfield. Popping up left, right, and centre. Play by Ivana Andres is Esther. Another of the Real players who roams around the field. Finea Del Castillo. Abiera. Aslani. Back again to the sweep. It's a poor ball from Abiera. It's Mirren. Neither Tenerife, Atletico or Real can afford to drop any points. Tenerife played yesterday, have just three games to go, as will Atletico after today. Real with that extra match still to play. Here's Esther, didn't get any power in the shot, it was blocked by Ojale, he gets a second bite at it. And it was uh, almost a rather forlorn looking effort over the top from Esther Gonzalez. Sign of the frustration that Real Madrid have felt in this first half. Esther has been leading the way for Real Madrid in terms of goals this season. 13. Has uh, scored twice in a game, three times. Real Sociedad, Valencia and Betis. Here's a chance maybe now. Aslani just couldn't find the space. Well defended by Mahari and clears it away. They played themselves into a bit of trouble there, Alaves, but Sonia Maharin helped them out of it again. Aslani wins the corner off Miriam. Real Madrid keep knocking on the door. Deep for delivery this time. Oh, got a strong hand to it though, and a Harley clears. On by Olga. Really determined defending from Alaves, particularly when Real Madrid are in and around their penalty area. on by Alba. Ivana Andres to Abiera. Now Esther. Turn her way through. And now Esther. It's a good save by Hannah. Well, there seemed no way through there for Real Madrid. And then suddenly Esther Gonzalez was in the clear in front of goal. But Hannah again, when faced with Esther, coming out on top, the Alaves goalkeeper. And here's Mirren. That was out of play. Well, that is the chance, really, for Real Madrid. 
We've had a few in this first half. Somewhat fortuitous the way the ball came through. Uh, deflection off Garafi and then back onto Esther. And that was a good save by Hannah. It's done well, the 18 year olds. Two good blocks from Esther Rao's leading scorer. Here's Aslani. Abayera. Sanaya. Amana with the cross in, Ohale with the head to it, and hooked away by Maharin. No extra time play, bang on 45 minutes, referee blows for half-time, a half that has been dominated in terms of possession and chances by Real Madrid. But Deportivo Alaves's 18-year-old goalkeeper, Hannah Jin, has kept them at bay at half-time. It is Alaves nil, Real Madrid nil. Welcome back, Deportivo Alaves nil, Real Madrid nil. It's a big second half really for Real Madrid in terms of their push for the top three. Tenerife winning yesterday, they'll assume that Atletico will uh, get the job done in the later kickoff. Roberto Turil knows they pretty much need 15 points from the five games that remain for them. They go to the bottom of the table, Rayo Vallecano on Wednesday, who may well be already relegated, depending on what happens in their match today. Then it's a trip to Levante, three successive away days in a row for Real Madrid, before they uh, face a bit of a derby in the Copa del Reina against Madrid at the end of the month, and then finish away to Valencia and at home to Villarreal. So a tough ask to pick up a maximum points from five games, but on paper, all games that Real Madrid will fancy that they can win. It's had very little to do, Misa, the Real Madrid goalkeeper. Could it just be one of those days when Real Madrid utterly dominate, don't score, and then Alaves take their only chance? How many times have we seen that in matches over the years? Real Madrid need to guard against that. Zlani, he's only really had half a sight of goal. The two big chances have fallen to the player that Real Madrid would have wanted them to, Esther Gonzalez, who was uh, denied by Hannah Saves on two occasions. Claudio Zanotha has been really lively in the midfield for Real, the Spanish international. <laughs> Deportivo, Alaves are battling. They are making life difficult. Alnion, Ojale, Maharin and Garafi, the, the back four have been terrific. They've put a foot in whenever it's mattered. They've timed their challenges to perfection. Miriam has been that guard in front of the back four as well. And Miku Aito and Alba have uh, at times pushed back and made it a back seven for Alaves. And Real Madrid have been on top. Must win for Real Madrid. It is that must win time of the season for those who are aiming for something. And that something is third place in the table and Champions League football next season. Zabayera for Real. They've enjoyed the high life of that competition, reaching the knockout stages at the first attempt, Real Madrid. We will want another taste of it. Here 
we finish third, of course, there would be a, a qualifying round to play as there was this season. The draw wasn't kind to them, but they overcame Manchester City. Here's Miriam. At the moment, I'm finding it difficult to overcome Alaves. Fenner no, 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 Andres no. to Zanotha. No. Now, Olga. Switched across by Zanotha to Rocio Galvez. Mike had a, a decent headed opportunity in that first half. The Real Madrid centre back. He's weighed in with a couple of goals this season. Here's Olga. Abayera turned away from Alba with ease, but then the, the layoff wasn't the best. Straight to Miriam. And this is Chamorro. Probably just delighted to see a bit of the ball. Hasn't seen a great deal, the Paraguayan centre forward. She did receive it, looked up, and there was absolutely no support at all. Remember, Alaves didn't produce a, a single attempt at the Real Madrid goal in the first half. Carla, with the throw. It's back from Mirren. Away by Vanna Andres. And cleared by Rocio Galvez. Alba. Reason to assume that the pattern of the game will change any in this second half. Meteores through to Esther, just held up by Maharin, plays it back to Aslani. And the block again by Maharin. This is gone. Just two goals and 12 appearances this season. For Kosovare Aslani. The campaign individually has uh, mirrored that of the club, really. Probably is a significant link there somewhere, such a star name. Here's Esther. Right, Mate Oros. Four defeats in their last six for Real Madrid, including those matches with Barcelona. They had won seven in a row prior to the 5 0 loss to Barcelona in the league. And since that, it seems to have knocked them off track a little bit. 3 1 loss at Huelva at the start of the month. Last league game, that was a, a massive blow for them. Chamorro. Away by Ivana Andres. We'll have a, a massive game this weekend against uh, Villarreal. The two sides immediately above the bottom two facing off. The winner of that will pretty much be safe. Vieira. Be a yellow card. Place a tug on the arm from Miku Aitu. Held on for a significant amount of time as well. Miku Aitu does go into the book with Alba. Zanotha. Nivana Andres. by Aunion. Aslani. Lucia Rodriguez, time to deliver the cross in. And Aunion in the end, just getting a foot to that to put it behind. It was a, a risky piece of defending and one of those heart in mouth moments.
Another corner, though, for Real Madrid. Caballera. Again, really deep with the, the ball in there. And there, Castillo keeps it in play. That's a foul. It's a free kick to Real Madrid in a dangerous position. Again, Antonio del Castillo making way towards the penalty area. And unbeaten so far in the Alaves goal, despite Real Madrid's best efforts. There's an author over this, Lucia. Rodriguez making away across as well. Ivana being closely watched. As will Rocio Galvez. Esther no slouch in the air either. Madrid still awaiting the breakthrough. Zanotha and the header, it's off the crossbar from Esther. And Alaves survive again. Well, that is most certainly as close as we've had to an opening goal for Real Madrid. It's not Esther's day at the moment. Lovely delivery from Claudia Zanotha. Here's Abayera. Still chasing this one. Well covered by Mahari. What a ball in, and Esther again must have thought she'd scored. Glancing header onto the crossbar and away. They survived pretty well in the first half through some good defending. Desperate at times. Organisation, but one was down to mere fortune. Fortune not favouring Real Madrid on this occasion. Here's Abayera. Cannot afford to get frustrated, Real Madrid. Still plenty of time left. Here's Olga Carmona. Whipped across again by Zanotha, cleared away by Ohale. Now both the goals were in the first half in the 1 1 draw in Madrid back in November. Real Madrid desperately need a second half goal here. South, one of the many games they will look back on to see where points were lost, where perhaps they should have won. All the way through again. It's come out for the shot first time from Lucia Rodriguez, but didn't get hold of it at all well. Again, nothing more than a half chance. Bit of a shinner, that one, from Lucia Rodriguez. Sat up just as she hit it. Well, on another day, she could have been sitting on a hat-trick, Esther, especially given how good she is normally in front of goal. <laughs> and three Liga titles with uh, Atletico Madrid, Esther Gonzalez. <laughs> Zohale. <laughs> Chamorro. 
Mauricio Galvez just holding her up. Not much support for Chamorro. Mirren in the centre. Forces it back again to Mikuaito. And then Miriam loses it. And this is Aslani. Antonio Del Castillo outside. Aslani looking for Esther. Just put a bit too much fizz on the ball. And another chance goes begging for Real Madrid in terms of a good attacking position. She's done herself no harm at all as uh, Hannah Chin. Spanish under-19 international goal for Alaves today in place of the regular Cristina Cornejo. by uh, Gemma Soliveres. Lorena <laughs> Nevado is on as well. <laughs> She's on in place of the captain Elmer. So the two players who are on yellow cards are the players who have been uh, removed from the action. Unsurprisingly. And Alaves need is to go down to 10, so a double midfield change for the home side. Silveres so has been a regular contributor this season, the 21 year old, a 20th appearance. This is Nevado on the ball. Nevado, by the way, is on loan from Athletic Bilbao, the other player who's just come on, Spanish under-19 international. So, under-17 World Cup winner in 2018 was back. It's a good ball from Olga. Well covered again, though, by Miriam. Taking over the uh, captain's armband since Alba's replacement, Teresa Abayera. Cross to take this for Real Madrid. Last Real set piece ended in uh, Esther hitting the crossbar. Deeper delivery again. Well, they should get there, but didn't. Esther did enough just to shield the ball. No way through, though, from Athenea Del Castillo. And again, rather disappointingly for Real, with a goal kick for Alaves. figures today, the Real Madrid goalkeeper. Nothing to do at all. It's Olga. In towards Esther. Way by Aunion. Only as far as Olga. Esther. Zonatha. A little bit lucky there, Garafi. Again, Alaves clear their lines. They're clearing their lines, but it's coming straight back at them. Slightly fortunate there to get a deflection and 
win the throw. Nobody really showing, though, for Garafi. As we move into the last half an hour. Alaves nil, Real Madrid nil. Sweet music to the ears of uh, supporters of Tenerife and Atletico Madrid. It's all about who holds their nerve in the run-in for those three teams. Dante and Athletic Club Bilbao have uh, pretty much fallen by the wayside in terms of the top three hunt now. And Real make their changes. Dante Oroz is off to be replaced by Nahikari Garcia, who scored the goal in the 1-1 draw with Alaves at the end of last year. Zabiera. So Galvez to Olga. Zanotha. Lucia Rodriguez. By Del Castillo. Esther getting in behind. Can Esther finish this time? She can. Well, three chances fell by the wayside, but not the fourth. And that is more like the clinical Esther Gonzalez that we know. And Real Madrid finally get the breakthrough on 62 minutes. Lovely turn. And then Ojale just missing the tackle. Aunion unable to get across and get the block in. Strong play by Esther Gonzalez. And then just a little neat toe poke finish. 14th goal of the season for Esther, and it is Alaves nil, Real Madrid one. And you can almost feel the collective sigh of relief from the Real Madrid players and staff. Well, they're going to have to try and create a chance on goal now, Alaves, to get themselves back into it. Only an hour gone in a home game without so much as a single noteworthy goal opportunity. There's no doubting they deserve the lead, Real. We've moved them on to 50 points, three behind Tenerife, the side in third, with a game in hand. Walks into the centre, and well, that was their first chance. Noren Nevado, the substitute on the end of it. Oh, what a kick in the teeth that would have been for Real Madrid, having toiled for so long to get in front. Still the save to make, though, for Misa. Here's Olga. Switched out by Claudia Zanotha. Abiera. Taken away by Aunion. Ojale. Yeah. Now carry. Here's Aslani. Dumped the cross out really well. Here's Olga Carmona. Esther Gonzalez. Almost kept that in play, Zanotha. One of the standout performers in this rail side, Claudio Zanotha today. That's been a really dominant display. And Soliveres, free kick for Alaves. Galvez. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
the running of Tenerife, Athletic Club, Real Sociedad and Levante. They're, they're all tough games. Atletico Madrid with Athletic Club to play today. Then they face Levante, Ibar. And perhaps significantly on the final day, Atletico Madrid go to Barcelona. Could be the key factor for Real Madrid if it does, as it's looking, go to the final day of the season for the top three. Looking for a favour from their traditional rivals against their city rivals. Barcelona might be looking to complete the, the perfect season, so plenty of the, for them to play for against Atletico. We were the last team to beat them, by the way. Here's Eslani, which the cross in, and gathered by Hanna. Aunion. Ohale. Chamorro. Miriam. No, Garathi. This is better from Alaves. Chamorro, better control there, and she may well have been in. Shackles off a bit now since Real Madrid have taken the lead. This was never really on the home side. Nil nil would have been a better result for them. Andres through to Zanotha. Covered by Soliveres. Oh, Harley. Now Miriam. Now oh, she's left that short. Olga stepping in and was caught by Aunion. There's going to be a booking for this. She could have got out of the way, Aunion. Just made sure there was uh, some connection. I thought initially there was going to be a yellow card. She seemed to move to a pocket, the referee, but then... Maybe just a word in the ear for Aunion. Nothing more. Tanaka stands the cross up towards Aslani. For offside against the sweep. Zani's header. Too much distance on that clearance from Hannah. Rodriguez with the header to Athenea del Castillo. A tug on the arm. A couple of tugs at the, the arm and then the shirt from Anna Mirren. And the card out. Seemed to take a time over that decision. Actually, just gave the, the free kick, so perhaps Anna Mirren said something. Because uh, the yellow card certainly didn't follow immediately after the foul. So, booking for Alaves. The other two bookies, Miku and uh, Alba, have been removed, replaced by Solivares and Nevada. It's Carla. Chamorro. Good turn by Camona. Another 
Let's have it back though. Alnion. Garafi. Mahari. Now Miriam. Away from Esther. Finding Ohale in space. We certainly want another goal, Real Madrid. There's uh, starting to gamble a bit more now and get a few more bodies forwards. six points from this game and then via Kana on Wednesday we would expect to be the fourth club in the top flight from Madrid it's Chamorro it's a pretty good week for Real some attention turns to the domestic cup matters Copa del Reina against uh, Madrid Teresa Abayera to Esther. Oh, and sticking with her. Well played though by Esther, switching the play out to Fenea Del Castillo. Here's Rodriguez with the cross in. Oh, and that should have been two. Harley has stayed down. And Naha Carrick made the run to get across the Nigerian and just couldn't get to the ball. Hannah was brave as well, but it's uh, Ohane who's borne the brunt of that three-way challenge. Really good game at the back, the Nigerian. Good ball from Lucia Rodriguez. And all three players were brave there. Lose a Harley. There's going to be a, a substitution while well, the Nigerian receives treatment. Madrid who are making the changes leading by the narrowest of margins thanks to Esther's goal Carla coming across to take some water on board and it's uh, certainly got warmer here as the, the game has worn on heading towards the final quarter of an hour Is over for Aslani. Kenty Robles is coming on. He's a, a Mexican fullback, so it's a, an interesting change. Interesting to see how the uh, formation stacks up after that introduction. And Carey, of course, will uh, probably lead the line. It's looking like the game could be up here for Ohale. That is a massive void in the centre of that Alaves defence without their Nigerian international. This is looking extremely groggy. I do wonder if she'll be able to continue or, or indeed if they allow her to. They're taking short for... Teresa Abayera. Number 10 at the moment, Alaves. Zonotha with the delivery in. 
Knocked away by Chamura. Zanotha. Knocked away by Girafi. And it's as Athenea del Castillo. Easily gathered by Hannah. Mahari. Miriam away. She stepped back in there alongside Mahari. To uh, a couple of sides of the gap left by O'Hale. Esther. So just losing her footing. Here's Maharin. To Hannah. Here's Olga picking up on something of a half hearted clearance. Zanotha unable to control. Garafi steps in. Cleared by Hannah. Garafi. Enough of Garafi coming forward, really, but she looks lively. Had that good run in the first half for Alaves. <laughs> many opportunities to see that kind of play from the home side because the field have been so dominant. <laughs> Nevado losing possession. Here's Nahikari going for the spectacular. Just spotted Hannah off a line. In the end, couldn't get the, uh, the purchase on it. To the trouble the Alaves goalkeeper. It's not the best of balls to Anyol. Vera is on, Vera Martinez for Alaves. Carrillo is on as well for Alaves, Sara Carrillo. Some are signing from Osasuna, 19 years of age. So three goals this season. Isn't it? Oh, Harley has been replaced. Andres. It's a red card. It's a, a little bit of afters there. Uh, no messing around from uh, Elena Casal. And is it the Alaves coach that's been showing the red card here? Mikhail Crespo. It possibly is. Uh, the, the bit of afters from Esther certainly wasn't worthy of that. Obviously made his uh, feelings known to the referee. Gets into the centre here, Rocio Galvez with the header away. And the clearance. Two minutes for Alaves to give this uh, a right good go. And make life as difficult as possible for Real Madrid. Atrás, eh? 
Madrid will be desperate to grab his second goal that would surely put it to bed. Here's Esther. Towards Nahakari, but well covered by Maharin. did go up for offside and rightly so against Nahakari. The analysis teams videoing every match as they do these days. Better finishing will be the upshot of this for Real Madrid, you'd imagine. Katie Robles with the throw. By Rocio Galvez. Out by Zanotta. Lucia Rodriguez. Olga. Hikari turned away and then just seemed to turn her ankle a little bit. Here's Teresa Abayera. That'll be another corner. Challenge from Mirren. <laughs> Defended again by Alaves, Garafi hooks it away. Back here, they're appealing for handball. Nothing given though. Solideros who had her arm down there. The referee was right there though. She couldn't have had a better view of it. Lucio Galvez. Lucia Rodriguez who started on the right, now left back since the introduction of. Kenzi Robles, the Mexican. Robles. Nahakari. Now Olga. See Rodriguez on the overlap. It's Abayera. For now, Del Castillo, Real Madrid throw. There's that handball again. Does touch the arm. She's moving her arm away from it, though. Difficult to say it's deliberate. It's Teresa Abayera opening here for Esther. Good save by Hannah. And then driven back in by Zanotha. Had some good moments here, Real Madrid. They should be significantly more ahead than just the one. It's a lovely touch by Nahakari. And on another day, Esther buries that. And on another day, Esther probably has four goals. It's three great saves that Hannah has made. There was the one off the crossbar as well. Let's not forget the one she scored. Sanadri coming on for Alaves in place of uh, Chamorro. Been a day to remember for Chamorro, but very, very difficult for the Paraguayan. This Sanadri involved straight away. Opening here maybe for Alaves. With enough bodies back though. There's Nahakari. Through for Del Castillo, and it's a free kick for Alaves. It will 
be absolutely fuming Real Madrid if they don't pick up the three points from this game. How many times have you seen it happen before? The one goal lead doesn't turn out to be enough. Just a reminder, by the way, to join the Atta football community and access more women's football content, matches and highlights. Don't forget to visit attafootball.com. an offer still makes the run for her it's Olga Carmona in space though Olga uh, well saved again by Hannah the connection of the ball that Olga Carmona was hoping for she's dealt pretty well with everything that's come away Hannah Chin it's an offer Esther oh, he's got it back again inadvertently Esther from Maharin. Saved it. Would be filed under routine from uh, Hannah. Again of that, another poor finish from a Real Madrid player. See why they are where they are in the league. Alaves, difficult side to be difficult to break down. Thirty points from the opening 26 games this season. It's certainly going to be enough. Difficult to see Ibar getting anywhere near that tally. Eleven points worse off. Three games to go. an offer Nahikari a touch on that oh, says the referee it's a goal kick Carmona's had a, a decent game at left back. Push further forward after the introduction of Kenty Robles is capable of playing in a more advanced role. But, uh, that's the end of the game for her. It's going to be replaced by uh, Carolina Muller of Denmark. Del Castillo has uh, been replaced as well for Real Madrid. Another partido on for Del Castillo. Just a second senior appearance, by the way, Paolo Partido, 17-year-old for Real Madrid. This came in uh, mid-March, a 2 win against uh, Tenerife. Here's Esther. 
Trying to make the space for the shot. Does so! Just past the post. Such a threat, Esther. Five minutes to be added on. Just thought for a second that had wrong-footed Hannah and had crept inside the post. Deflection on it from Miriam, and that was enough to take it wide. Here's Esther again, going for it first time. The flag was up. Should have been a corner that, by the way, for Real Madrid, but wasn't. Maria Nevado. by Garathi. Sanadri. It's an ambitious effort. Straight into the midriff of Misa from uh, Sarah Carrillo. He's got three goals, Carrillo. Uh, first season with Alaves, the 19-year-old. Club's last goal actually in the 1 uh, 1 draw with Sevilla in February. It's a, a really barren run for them in front of goal. There's Muller. And again. a good run by Zanotha. Can she finish? It's the same old story. No right really to work an opportunity from there. Muller though with a neat back heel. Zanotha stepping away from the challenge of Vera. Minutes to see out Real Madrid for what could be an invaluable three points. Come the end of the season. She's in that far away now. And a game behind those around them after today. Four to go. by Carrillo. Carla's throw. There's an offer doing a body in the way and doing well. Here's Muller. Good turn by Nerea Nevada. And now it comes to Muller. Another back heel to Esther. And now carry. Esther. Just need to keep the ball now, Real Madrid. Now, Hakari. Now, Muller. Just switch down instead to the far side and Ketty Robles. Miriam hacks it away back from Teresa Abellera. One last chance maybe here for Alaves. Needs to go forwards. Carrillo is after it. Not enough Alaves bodies in the penalty area though. She took too long to get the cross in. Well defended by Robles. And Real Madrid have the win they needed. Keeps them very much at the forefront of the fight for a place in the top three. But my goodness, they were made to work from it for a very determined Alaves performance who kept them at bay until the 62nd minute when Esther finally took one of the five chances that came her way in the game.
Alaves finding wins difficult to come by, but they're safely in mid-table. They know a second season in the top flight is to look forward to in the next campaign. But Esther's goal, the difference. Alaves nil, Real Madrid one.